Russian patrol boat engulfed in flames in Sea of Azov, losses reported. In the waters of the Sea of Azov, there was a fire on one of the Russian boats of the Coast Guard of the Border Service of the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation. Losses among the occupants are known, reports the Defense Intelligence, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine on Telegram. According to intelligence, the fire engulfed the engine room of the vessel, after which the crew urgently requested an evacuation group. This is evidenced by intercepted conversations among the occupants. The enemy suffered losses totaling five occupants, emphasizes the defense intelligence. It has added that the causes of the fire and the nature of the enemy's losses are still being clarified. This is not the first fire on a Russian vessel. It was recently reported that the icebreaker Yermak was on fire in the port of St. Petersburg. The Russian Emergencies Ministry released video footage showing firefighters attempting to extinguish the fire at the scene. There was no information about the casualties in the incident. According to information from the Russian agency, the icebreaker where the fire started is moored at the big port of St. Petersburg. The Emergencies Ministry clarified that the vessel is no longer operating and is slated for disposal. The fire started on the first and second decks. There are reportedly no casualties. However, online sources specify that the fire occurred against the backdrop of welding works. According to the video released by the Emergencies Ministry, firefighters have arrived at the scene. They are trying to prevent the spread of fire. Recall that Ukrainian defenders have already destroyed many Russian ships in the Black Sea using attack drones. The latest successful operation was on February the 14th. That time, the large landing ship of the enemy, Cesar Kunikov, went to the bottom. Biden says Trump bowed down to a Russian dictator, Putin. U.S. President Joe Biden has slammed his predecessor Donald Trump's comments regarding NATO, accusing the Republican frontrunner of bowing down to Moscow by saying Washington should refuse to defend its European allies that fail to fulfill their military spending commitments. Trump's suggestion during a rally that he had told an unnamed NATO member Russia could do whatever the hell they want with the country because it hadn't paid its bills was dumb. Biden insisted. It's shameful. It's dangerous. It's un-American. Imagine a former president of the United States saying that. The whole world heard it. The worst thing is he means it. The US leader continued, claiming that Trump's remarks meant he had bowed down to a Russian dictator. When America gives its word, it means something. When we make a commitment, we keep it. And NATO is a sacred commitment. Biden claimed, Donald Trump looks at this as if it's a burden. Biden had already denounced his rival's remarks, calling them appalling and dangerous. On Sunday, in that statement, the president claimed his predecessor had effectively said he would abandon NATO allies if Russia attacks and give Russian President Vladimir Putin a green light for more war and violence. Court ordered Trump to pay $454 million to file appeal he decided to negotiate. The New York Appeals Court has ordered Donald Trump to pay $454.2 million if he intends to file a counter-appeal in a civil lawsuit for financial fraud. However, his lawyers have stated that Trump has decided to negotiate and has offered only $100 million, according to CNN. According to Trump's lawyers, he wants to appeal the decision made by New York Judge Arthur Engoron on February the 16th, which, among other things, prohibits the former president from holding executive positions in any New York state company or taking out loans from banks registered in his state for three years. However, to file an appeal, a bond in the full amount awarded by the court must be posted within a month. Otherwise, the New York State Attorney General's office has the right to collect these funds at any time. In the lawsuit filed by New York Attorney General Letitia James, which led to Judge Engoron's decision, Trump and his family business were accused of inflating his net worth by $3.6 billion annually for 10 years to deceive banks and obtain better loan terms. The judge did not revoke Trump's business licenses, which, according to some experts, could have effectively ended his business empire. 
However, he imposed a fine of $354.9 million on Trump, and last week this amount, including accrued interest, reached $454.2 million. Trump's lawyers stated that a $100 million bond, as well as ongoing oversight of the Trump organization by a court-appointed observer, would be more than sufficient to secure the court's decision. Donald Trump faces over 90 criminal charges in several cases, including the payment of $130,000 to porn actress Stormy Daniels, an attempt to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election, unlawful disclosure of classified information after leaving office, and more. On February the 16th, 2024, a New York court ordered Donald Trump to pay over $350 million. He was found guilty of deliberate financial fraud over 10 years. The judge also prohibited Trump from holding executive positions or directorships in any New York corporation for three years. Additionally, Trump may face civil liability for the actions of participants in the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot. <laughs>